Good morning, little Emily. This is Sarah. Actually, I don't talk like that, but sometimes people in the country do, not to stereotype. Um, I saw a video that you made um, on your dad's phone, and you, you want to lean over a little bit so she can see that's Megan. And there's your daddy. Can you see him? Um, you, you made a video about my donkey, asking about my donkey, and I'm making you a video to talk to you about my donkey. <laughs> um, his name's Leroy. I'm going to send your dad a picture so he can show you. And he's about your height, definitely much bigger, definitely much longer, but probably as tall as you stand. Maybe a little taller. I don't know. I've never seen you. I did see you. It doesn't matter. Anyhow, his name's Leroy, but you have to say it. Leroy. Try it. Ready? Leroy. I'm waiting on you. No, that's a consumer picture. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, um, so one of your first questions was the donkey, does he live in a barn? No. Yes, he does. But sometimes. He lives in a big horse pasture with his horse friend named Lacey. And they run up and down together and sometimes play the wrong way, but they play a lot. Um, jumping on top of each other and stuff like that. When it gets really cold outside, they'll go and hide behind a barn, um, sometimes go inside the barn. Um, I don't live there, though. I know that was one of your questions. Did I live in a barn? I don't. I live in a house. Um, but I would go outside every morning, and I would see Leroy, and this is the sound that he would make. <clears throat> he would go a little something like this. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> and they, they do that to clear their voice. They're not choking, and they go. <clears throat> it's true. They make that sound. Uh, let's see if your dad can make that sound. <clears throat> that was actually better than mine. <laughs> Um, now, there's two things I want to teach you how to do. It's if you ever run into a donkey, how do you feed them? And then how do you, or three things. How do you feed them? How do you pet them? And then how do you talk to them? Talking is, it's very, you have to, yeah, okay. So, um, you walk up to a donkey and they're going to look at you something like this. Please, really, people, I'm trying to... <laughs> reading rainbow, reading rainbow. Okay. Megan here is going to help teach you how to feed a donkey properly. So they're looking at you like this because they're waiting for something to get close to their snout. Now, very important. You do not feed them with your hands like this because what will happen, they'll try to eat and then they'll bite your hands, not on purpose, but they think your hands are a little carrot. And that's not okay. Unless you have insurance, and then our insurance doesn't even really cover anything. But So Megan is going to hold the candy cane the way that you really ought to hold it in order for your fingers to not get bitten. I don't know how. Feed it to me. You didn't take the plastic off. <laughs> how do I do it? you, you got to take the plastic off. But she's still watching, so. How do I do it? You. There we go. Uh, <coughs> hmm. Um, so what Megan was doing right there was showing you that the the further <laughs> the further you push it in the mouth, the more you have to open up your hands like this. Instead of like this, you open your hands and you push it into their mouth that way so they can't bite you. Okay, number two, I need Mark. This is how you pet a donkey. This is Mark. Say hi, Mark. Say hi to Emily. Hi, Emily. How do you make a donkey noise, Mark? I don't really. Let's try it for Emily. <laughs> okay. 
So let's let's suppose that he is Leroy the donkey. Okay. Most of the time, donkeys like to roll around in the mud or in the dirt. And so what that means is a lot of dusty, dirty, weird smelling. Just like Mark. <laughs> Just like Mark. <laughs> that type of smell gets on your hands and in their coat. Um, so oftentimes what will happen is if you pet them or if you pat them. So a little bit of like, if you do a little bit of this or a little bit of this, smoke. Or not smoke, it's not smoke, but it's like dirt and 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 rubbish and, 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 and mud. It'll fly off of their skin and it'll get on your hands. Just like what happened to me after petting Mark. The last thing is, how do you talk to a donkey? Christina, come on over. Oh, I'm not making donkey noises. Okay. Oh, but you do. Okay. Oh, I don't. Christina, how would you talk to a donkey if you met him for the first time? How would you walk up to a donkey? Uh, that's a good question. I would walk